this was so this is place the movie fan and before this put my standards on spoiler movie reviews was that I would never do a spoiler movie review of a movie that I hate well that has changed right now now I do spoiler movie reviews on movies whether I hate them or like them I have done spoiler movie reviews of movies that I hate twice before I did it once on Pokemon the first movie as well as Entity that yours the Temple of Doom. But back when I did one on Pokemon the first movie I didn't really count that as an actual movie which was pretty stupid as for with Temple of Doom well I did it more as a fan request so it wasn't entirely my decision. This is the first time I'm doing a spoiler movie review of a mainstream American movie totally on my own. And before I begin, I just like to say that this movie is hands down the worst movie ever made in my opinion. How is the movie bad you may ask? Well, let's dive right in and fucking watch it, shall we? The movie begins with a pointless museum scene. Also, get used to the word pointless people. Because I will be using it a lot throughout this review. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me replace it. What, what, are, what are you doing? Perhaps I should inform you I suffer from vertigo. And I have a lawyer. Hello? Where's my body? Come get... Yeah, that is a 
from Sita. And don't worry, this is the only part of the video where I use a nostalgia credit clip. For the rest of the review, I'm gonna bring up my own arguments. And then the next day, Tim talks to his boss. Now I'm gonna tell you what I think of all the scenes in general where Tim and his boss are having a conversation. They're all fucking boring because Tim never has anything of interest to say to his boss. Certainly there isn't anything else I can say about those scenes. They're just fucking boring. Enough said. And then we cut to Loki. And I'm just gonna describe all the scenes where Loki finds the wrong baby, causes chaos, and so on while looking for his mask. Some of you might be wondering why I'm describing all similar scenes in general instead of describing each and every one of them as they come in the movie. Well, the reason why I'm doing that is because if I didn't, I would be repeating myself a lot and I want to avoid doing that. Anyway, my problem with the scenes where Loki is looking for the mask is the fact that they are fucking pointless, fucking lame, Fucking annoying! And worst of all, these scenes are just a cheap excuse to use these special effects. And now I'm gonna talk about the special effects of the movie. They are fucking awful. I can't see a lot of effort was put into these special effects and I couldn't do a better job. But the problem is I think there's a misdirected effort put into those scenes. It really feels like the makers of this movie were putting so much effort into making everything look as horrible as possible. It's like they wanted to make a bad movie. Considering how badly written this movie is and how fucking creepy all the special effects look, I wouldn't put it past me if that was the case. But believe it or not, the scenes focusing on Loki are not the worst scenes in the movie. There are scenes in the movie that are far, far worse. If you can believe that, such as this scene. In fact, all the scenes where the baby is doing something supernatural are worth discussing as they make no sense. Not only do they not make sense, they are also painful to sit through. But now I'm gonna get into the main issue why this makes absolutely no sense. Unless Tim was wearing the mask while having sex with his wife, the baby shouldn't have those fucking powers. Maybe Tim did have sex with his wife after the party. But even then, Tim is required to have this mask on in order to have those supernatural abilities. And he isn't able to do any of that shit if he doesn't have the mask on. So how the hell is the baby able to do all that supernatural shit without wearing a fucking mask? In fact, I don't even think that baby is a human. I think it's a demon from some magical world. That's the only explanation I can think of that makes sense. But why would a baby like that be born? In a body of an ordinary fucking human being! There are so many issues that I have with the scenes about the baby. So I'm gonna move on so I can talk about more of them. And then Tim uses an item on the baby that could do serious harm on that baby. In fact, that baby would be seriously injured or dead if it was a normal baby. It's a good thing that baby is a demon. But seriously though, what the hell is wrong with this guy? That dumb asshole does not deserve to have a baby. Only the most irresponsible motherfuckers in the world would do something like this. You know what? I still feel sorry for the guy and I hope he gets mental help. I mean seriously, good god, he's a fucking moron. Then Tonya Arvory leaves without the baby and expects her husband to take care of it instead. Alright, I seriously gotta ask, why the hell couldn't she take the baby with her? I mean seriously, it's never explained in the movie why she couldn't do that. 
And she also knows damn well that her husband is a cartoonist and being a cartoonist takes a lot of effort. Seriously, when you make a movie, you don't leave out details like that. As a movie maker, it's your responsibility to explain how everything works. This is definite proof of lazy writing. Unfortunately, lazy writing is what this movie is fucking full of. And I wouldn't put it past me if this movie was fucking rushed. Babe, it is fucking rushed. There's no getting around that. Isn't it great that her work is going so well? Ma? Yes, Ma and her career are just... Did you say Ma? Mama. Oh my god! You said Mama! Well, can you say Dad? Or Dada? Mommy. That's great! You're doing great! But come on, say Dada. Dada? Mother. Oh my god, that's dreadful. I mean, seriously, there is no point in that scene. All I see here is a fucking lame attempt at humor. Now here is an idea, how about acting a scene that's actually useful for the rest of the movie instead of adding a pointless scene like this that adds nothing to the movie. Unfortunately this movie is loaded with bullshit scenes like that. Hello my baby, hello my honey, hello my ragtime gal. Send me a kiss by one, baby my heart's on fire. You know what's really sad about this scene and the rest of the unfunny shit in this movie? It's the fact that they aren't supposed to be funny. It legitimately feels like to me a lot of effort was put into the scenes to make them as unfunny, as painful and as pointless as possible. Since this movie was mainly made for the money, I wouldn't put it past me one bit. It's almost like the makers of the movie are aware of that they are making a bad movie and try to make the movie a lot worse than they originally planned. Of course this is only a theory, but I do think this theory of mine makes sense. I mean, due to the awfulness of most of the scenes, it would make no sense to me that the makers of the movie were trying to make anything good. Oh, and by the way, I will not be discussing the duog scene or any of that. Since there is nothing I can say about these other than the fact that they are unfunny. So yeah, I'm gonna skip to a scene that's actually worth discussing. Now I'm gonna talk about what I consider to be the worst scene of the entire movie and that's the one the baby is pissing all over the place. The main reason why I hate this scene with the passion is because nobody wants to see that. I mean seriously, this scene is the definition of pointless. Family Guy drive together in South Park wouldn't go this far with disturbing shit. And when they do, they usually do it in a context where it's funny. But I am going to explain why this scene isn't funny in the slightest and why it shouldn't be in the fucking movie. You know, pretty much like 80% of the scenes of this movie. It comes right out of nowhere, serves no purpose, and is just there to disturb the audience. That's fucking sick. And I seriously could ask, why is shit like this a loved in PG rated movies, yet you can't even say fuck in PG rated movies? This is a serious question, by the way. Words are only harmful if you let them be. But disturbing shit like this is disturbing for all ages. This scene is just so fucking messed up. Alright, I told enough about this scene. Let's go on. And then Loki finally finds Tim's building and doesn't realize at first that baby is the demon he's looking for. Now I'm gonna explain a bit why Loki in this movie fails as a villain. It doesn't even cross his mind that baby might be the baby he's looking for. Even though Tim is clearly implying that baby is a demon. 
But the dumb motherfucker. And to make matters worse, he only knows that baby is a demon after that baby does some demonic things. Remember earlier when I said that Odin is not Odin? Well, I'm gonna say the same thing here. This motherfucker is not Loki. He's just some insignificant god that nobody cares about. Seriously, this movie can't even get god mythology right. No parking there, that's a handicapped zone. Hey, sir. Yes, sir! 